Hey there, everyone. This is Corwin from Compass Cult. Hope you've got your save points, your health potions, and your seasonal rewards in order. I'm here to share one of my kind of random ideas that I've had when I'm walking around, taking a shower, drinking some tea, and it's an art method idea. I use my phone, throw these things in there, and return to them later. This one is a five point drawing system. It's a method for making an illustration that I pretty much follow for everything that I do, except it's just more formalized than normal. It follows the format of a hand, one point for each finger. We're gonna start out with thumbs up. Let's get drawing, draw some thumbnails. Whenever we're working on a piece of art, we need to know what direction we're going. So I suggest drawing lots of thumbnails, quick 30 second to five minute sketches and make them very small on your iPad, your computer or your notepad. Just small, fast, messy. Don't fill in all the details. You don't need to make it perfect. You don't want it to be perfect because you need to be able to change it keep it flexible, keep it moving, onwards and upwards. Our next point is pointed out. This is our pointer finger. We're gonna go ahead and pick one of those ideas from our earlier stage, thumbs up, and start developing it. When you point out the piece of art you wanna work on, now you went from an amorphous unknown, what am I going to draw, to thumbnailing and then picking one and the magic of picking a piece that you want to work with is now you have direction now when you get lost when you're drawing now when you're sketching you have something to work from go ahead take your thumbnail sketch take a picture of it or make a new layer lower that opacity and draw right on top of your previous work I find this really helpful because sometimes when you're making clean lines, it can be kind of tough to know how big or small to make things. And you don't really want to be thinking about composition because you're thinking about lines. Try to think of only one thing at a time. The next finger on our digits of art planning is our middle finger. And we all know the middle finger is fuck you, which is sexy lines and values. No fear, follow through on your idea from before. This is more of an attitude than anything. It is important to get those lines not looking static, not looking flat. We need them to move, to be fluid, to look great. Take some extra time, flesh out those lines. If something is looking wonky, don't be afraid to just erase it and do it again. I've found sometimes massaging something to work from, you know, a crooked hand or a weird wonky elbow. It's sometimes okay to go in and fix it. Other times, I think it's just much better to erase it and just do it again. It's like starting over, but it's so much faster. Experiment find what works for you when you need to erase or when you need to keep working and adjust that thing. Another big part of the fuck you stage is no fear. Drawing for people's expectations is only going to get you so far. And even if you did make something that was popular for other people, but not for yourself, if they like it, you're stuck. You're pigeonholed into that style. You don't want to keep making that. You want to make the things that make you happy, not the things that make other people happy. Now, I'm not saying to never compromise and not to work with people or to take edits or work with clients, but I am saying that you should be making things that you are happy with because when your audience finds you, you want to be able to sustain and to keep making that thing and not get burned out. Our next stage on our digits is the ring finger. Cuffing season, baby. We're gonna go ahead and add details and we're gonna be honest about mistakes that need to be fixed. 
So when it's cuffing season, when it's ring finger time, this is the part of the drawing where things become pretty finalized. You don't want to be correcting things that have been labored over for hours and hours at this point. Use that in the thumbs up in the pointed out stage. That's where you keep things looser, more fluid. You don't have to worry about it being perfect. But now it's cuffing season. We're starting to get more committed and plan on being with what we have going. Keep it forward, keep it solid, and keep it committed because you want to be bold in those ideas and it's not really time to start changing them. If you feel like you have to change things and you're not really happy with where they are, I suggest finishing up the drawing from where it's at and just seeing it through. Then taking the internal complaints you have about your own art piece and adjusting them and fix them in your next piece of art so that when you're in your thumbs up drawing thumbnail stage and in your pointed out pick an idea and start develop it, developing it stage you will feel much more like you can change and edit things quickly when you're in ring finger time you just want to get it going let's just finish it out let's get another one under the belt always progress not perfection we're not looking to make perfect drawings. We're looking to make drawings. In our final stage, oh my gosh, what could it be? The pinky. We have pinkies out. Be polite. Put on those texture layers and final color adjustments, then export properly. So when we are in our pinkies out stage, we are in the very, very final steps of the drawing. Everything's been committed. We have solid lines, we have a solid idea, and now it's just about presenting it in the best way possible. Like, if you have the best gift in the world to give somebody, but you wrap it in old cereal box bits and, you know, moldy pieces of milk boxes, uh, it's gonna be disgusting and it can devalue the gift in a way. I think drawings are like that for me. Sometimes, a very, very awesome drawing, if presented poorly, can lose some of the effect that you intended. If you have a good drawing and you're proud of it, go ahead and take the time to add textures, add small highlights, do some last minute brightness and contrast adjustments, you know, really make that thing shine, make it look really good. Also, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and export it properly. Does the person you're printing for, do they want it as a PNG? Do they need it in a small format so they can send it out in an email? Do they need it to be printed? Where's this thing going? These drawings that you're seeing, uh, I've exported as MP4s and PNGs for context. And there you have it. A finished third eye warrior time lapse. Oh my God, it's here. It's happened. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.